out, you're at Steve Morris Engines. I'm Steve Morris. This is an engine that we just got done for Scott Brisboy out of Minnesota. And this is something that uh, Scott brought us this motor and wanted us to go through it and just make things right and uh, do a little bit of updates and tuning. And so we ended up uh, also building this uh, really cool uh, supercharger mount for LS. And uh, I think once this thing is all polished up and cool, you'll see in the video how solid this thing is. I mean, the blower is not moving around at all. Uh, it packages up nice. In fact, you can't from this side you really can't even see it. And uh, this is running on E85 non-intercooled. So this is the pipe that Scott already had on here, and it kind of had a, a not so good amount for the supercharger before, but it was in the same spot. So he needed to keep it in this spot uh, for the vet that this thing's going in. What year is that vet? Uh, 65. For a 65 vet that this goes in. So that's where it needed to be. Now that's an F1R Pro Charger. And as I said, uh, our bracketry with the Innovator West uh, uh, blower dampener kind of get a logist of what's all going on here. Now this is all hollow inside here. So this is all scalloped out on the inside uh, clearly because the belt runs up in there, you can see and uh, then bolt solidly to the cylinder head so this thing is really rock solid but anyways build back to the motor uh, we did end up doing a camshaft change and put in one of our uh, hydraulic rollers and uh, we did end up also putting on one uh, the sheet metal intake manifold that Scott had and uh, basically just went through everything and made it right uh, and uh, got everything back to a good correct situation so we could put it on a dyno and start doing some tuning so anyways, real good piece. Uh, oh, this is a four inch stroke, so it's 416 or 18 cubic inch. And uh, hydraulic roller E85. Uh, and then we're also running a fast EFI system on this. That's what Scott had uh, when he brought it in. And we just kept that on there and uh, uh, be tuning with that. So anyways, let's go out and make a pull on this thing and then we'll look at the numbers. Now let's take a look at the numbers and back up from the camera here. You can see, like I said, it's a it's just a nice uh, uh, streetcar piece, daily driver kind of deal. Simple, easy, and uh, dependable. That's all we're really shooting for. So you can see here, 4,500. We're at uh, 800 foot-pounds of torque. This, this thing will carry out probably 750 foot-pounds of torque all the way down to about 3,500 RPM or so. But uh, 4,500, we're 806, 687 horsepower, 5,000 RPM, we're 842, <coughs> and 800 horsepower, 5,500, uh, 878 torque, 915, 6,000, we are 897, and 1021, and right here where we just stopped the pull, we're uh, 890 foot-pounds of torque, and eight, uh, 1080 horsepower. So real good, nice solid piece to show you the, uh, um, let's see, load up this report here. Uh, boost wise, we're at 14 pounds of boost right here. And uh, that's for fuel pressure, oil pressure, uh, O2 for the dyno and uh, gasoline scale, uh, torque and horsepower. So anyways, real good piece for Scott. And uh, we're going to get this thing loaded up. And Scott's standing right here, so I'm going to pan over to him. <laughs> yeah, see, he's all happy. There oh, you yeah, go. I'm happy. <laughs> all right. Anyways, I'm Steve Morris. Steve Morris Engines. Have a great day.